The Zhaon New Balance 2002 Hour Gore-Tex is my new favorite waterproof sneaker and here's why. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about the Zhaon New Balance 2002 Hour Gore-Tex. Now these release on the Zhaon website on the 15th of February and it is set to release globally on the 22nd of February. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description bar below so you guys can enter the up this store raffle but let's just get into the review starting off with the box so you can see that the box is an all-white box with gold accents on the lid here you can see that it's the New Balance branding and on the side there is Zhaon and because this sneaker does feature Gore-Tex you can see the Gore-Tex sticker over here so these are actually the second time that Zhaon has done a pair of 2002 hours with New Balance last year we saw the stone blue colorway which is this one over here but the difference between this and the new release is that this features Gore-Tex which I think is such a nice addition and the retail price for this is 300 Australian dollars which initially I thought was a little bit steep but then if you think about it a general release Gore-Tex 2002R retails for 280 Australian dollars so for additional $20 you get the Jean pair which I think is completely worth it and it comes in two colorways this one is the pine color which is a really nice deep olive and there's also the charcoal colorway which is a nice neutral gray starting off with the upper of the sneaker you can see that it's constructed with a really nice buttery suede and they're also black mesh underlays and when you first feel the mesh on these sneakers you'll notice straight away that it is a little bit more coarse and stiff compared to your standard 2002 rs and i think that has to do with obviously keeping the sneaker waterproof and so they had to change up that material instead of the standard mesh that they use on your regular 2002 hours. That was such a long way to explain that. Moving on to the laces, you can see that it comes laced with these bungee laces and there are reflective details on these laces. I also love how there is the Zhaon branding on the toggle. I personally really like this style of laces because I feel like it's really convenient and it sort of gives a different look to the sneaker compared to your standard flat laces. However, if you're not a fan of these bungee laces, they do give you a set of spare laces so with the pine pair you get a pair of olive laces and with the charcoal pair you get a set of black laces but I'm just gonna be keeping them as they are because like I said I really like the look of them moving on to the tongue of the sneaker I actually removed the laces on this one so you guys can see the tongue is entirely covered in the same mesh material and it's constructed slightly different from your standard 2002 hours because it does have a gusseted tongue that way you're able to keep your feet dry and so moisture or like rain or whatever won't get through which I think is necessary <laughs> considering this is a Gore-Tex sneaker. You can see the Gore-Tex tab here on the heel. Gore-Tex is a very fine membrane and it's able to keep the sneakers waterproof, windproof but also really breathable at the same time which I think is such a nice addition and it definitely is ideal for you know the wetter days out there. Because it is still a low cut sneaker you also cannot expect it to be entirely waterproof in the sense that rain or water will get through the ankle collar you can compare it to like a high top nike acg sneaker for example but for day-to-day -day wear i feel like this is definitely very practical and functional and i personally just love this release anyway moving on to the midsole of the sneaker you can see it is in this entirely black midsole as well as the outsole and these black midsoles are definitely growing on me because initially with the previous genre releases the 990 v3 and v4s they had the dark midsole as well and i wasn't too sure about them until i saw them on feet on a few people and the more i saw them on feet the more I wish I got in a pair as well so when I saw that they were releasing this I knew that I had to get them but anyway moving on to the back of the sneaker you can see it has the Zhaon and New Balance co-branding and you can also find the Zhaon branding on the insole of the sneaker as well another thing you'll notice is that it doesn't have any branding here on the tongue of the sneaker whereas with the previous Zhaon release 
you can see the Jean co-branding over here but I think it keeps it looking really nice and clean so I don't mind that there isn't any branding over there in terms of sizing I find that these fit true to size because it does have the Gore-Tex lining in there when you initially put them on you'll find that they are a little bit snug and a tiny bit more stiff compared to your standard 2002 R's however once you've worn them in they will feel just fine so I recommend just staying true to size with these ones and comfort wise very good I feel like the 2002 R's is definitely my choice of everyday sneaker and the fact that these have the added Gore-Tex lining I feel like then it is now the perfect everyday sneaker because the Melbourne weather is so unpredictable because it looks all shiny shiny <laughs> it looks all sunny and the next minute it rains obviously this will not hold up if it's like flooding or something but for you know those wet days they are perfect for them and i know you guys are wondering between the two colorways which one do you go for obviously if you don't have to pick i would say go for both because they're both so nice in their own way i find that the pine colorway is very unique it is in this really nice deep olive color and just for comparison this is my Jean, oh, sorry wrong way this is my Jean 990 v3s in the olive colorway and i've worn these so much but you can see it is a lot lighter compared to the pine colorway so initially i thought that i don't need the green pair because i already have a green pair of sneakers but then they're so different and i feel like the dark midsole and also like the black mesh gives it a very different sort of look which i forgot to mention there's also reflective detailing on this sneaker i really like how they've used black reflective material because it gives it a very seamless look but then you can definitely see that reflective detail in the right light or obviously when you take a photo with flash so anyway back to the pine colorway i do feel like this is very unique and i really love how they look like on feet however with the charcoal colorway i personally think that i will wear these a lot more just because i find that gray sneakers are very versatile and i think the choice of gray that they've used is super versatile and i think this would go well with pretty much anything so yeah it's too hard to pick between the two let me know in the comments below which one would you guys go for or which one did you end up copying from the Jean website I would love to know and yeah I think that is pretty much it for me today guys I hope I covered all the details but if I did forget I will leave it in the description bar below and I'll make sure to leave the raffle link down below so you guys can enter to cop a pair as well but yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you soon bye